Uh, back in 1992, the COBE experiment, which was NASA's first experiment to map the microwave background, measured the amplitude of fluctuations. I was at the American Astronomical Society meeting when they were announced, and uh, I was being interviewed by Time Magazine by Mike Lemonick, and I saw the results and I said, we're dead. And I knew that several years of work were in the wrong direction. And my first reaction was to be a bit depressed about it. I went back to Princeton, I started thinking about what the results meant, and realized there were actually no conferences taking place right after this announcement. There was often so many meetings going on, but no one knew the announcement was coming, so there wasn't a meeting planned. So on relatively short notice, I organized a workshop here at Princeton. Got about 60, 70 people here on three weeks notice to come, and we had an excellent meeting. At that meeting, um, one of the things that happened was some of my colleagues got up and said, these observations showed that the geometry of the universe was flat. And I felt that that claim just wasn't right. So I decided to work out what the predictions would be for different geometries. We wrote this paper. Uh, after, soon after that, um, a group of uh, scientists led by Chuck Bennett at Goddard Space Flight Center decided to put together a proposal for a new mission. This was a group of experimentalists, and they wanted a theorist to be on the proposal. Looking at my then recent paper on the geometry of the universe, they thought it would be useful to have me involved. I then started thinking about the implications of microwave background measurements, realized we can measure the age and shape and basic properties of the universe. We proposed to NASA to build the mission. I then spent the next 15, maybe 17 years of my life working with this project. It ended up becoming the most important thing that I did. We determined the basic properties of the universe and showed it was 13.7, 30.8 billion years old. And when I look over the trajectory, this really started with a failure. This started with things not working out, ideas not going in the right direction. But by just sticking with it and, and, and going off and asking where can we go next, uh, it took me on a path that ended up uh, uh, leading to some really exciting science.